Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the next episode of the Pokemon Orange Island series by Lionripe. So we are currently in Naval Island. Um, as you can see, we've done a little bit of leveling. We brought everyone up to level 30 because Naval Island is, as we know, is where the, uh, the next gym leader that we're going to battle is going to be. So we explored all over the island and we couldn't find it. Um, so we assume that if we just keep following the yellow brick road, we will eventually find there. So all naval gym challengers must climb the top of the mountain without the cable car or you'll be disqualified. So we know at the very top is going to be Danny. Um, but first, there's a little carbos right there. Um, but let's keep going up the island. And as we can see, we see Tracy and Misty right there. What's Misty got to say? Hi, Lion. Danny is one of the cute, the cutest gym leaders. Hey, yo. Have you seen me? I'm definitely gonna be one of the cutest ones eventually. You'll probably have a hard time beating him. Maybe, we'll see. Ah, I've reached Naval Island, good job. The sign at the foot of the mountain so that the gym battle's at the top. But we'll stay here, it's cold. So, apparently we're about to go up a very frosty mountain, but first we get run into by this guy. Uh, I bet you are looking for a gym battle, aren't you? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Danny, Naval Island gym leader and member of the Orange Crew. If you're up for the challenge, I'll meet you at the top of the mountain. All right, let's go to the top. To the top, make it drop. All right, so first we got a Bell Sprout, and Bell Sprout's not really who we want to lead with. Um, but all these trainers look like they're going to be about level 26 at the moment. So I'm glad that we made at least everything level 30 because that gives us a little bit of leeway for us to get into things and to go from there. Uh, so he's going to say we've been Bell next and we're going to kind of keep doing the same thing that we've been doing. Uh, we should be learning, I don't know when we learn Flamethrower, but I feel like it should be soon. Because if it's not soon, Ember is going to lose its magic. Same thing with Fire Spin. So we got another trainer. Have you met any rare Pokemon on this mountain? I've yet to meet any fun Pokemon. So, going up the mountain, I thought we were going to have some water Pokemon, or some uh, brown rock Pokemon. Apparently, I was big wrong, because all I've seen is some Oddishes and Weeping Bells and Bell Sprouts and stuff like that. And, you know, Squirtle, or little, little Blue, just can't really do that too well. So, we got to just keep using Big Red for now. All right, Tangle is up next. Man, I wish, I gotta find a game that I can play with Tangrowth. Like, full playthrough with like just Tangrowth. I think it'd be really fun. So, execute Spirit Evolution. All right, well, we defeat and You're right, I guess that was interesting. But you did get your butt handed to you. All right, so now, that's a hiker. That's a Geodude. This is what Little Blue was born to do, but we're gonna pass for now. Mr. Hiker Man, am I getting cold feet? My jokes on you, my feet are always cold. All right, water pulse. All right, what we get next? Onyx, is it a crystal onyx? No, lame, lame-o, lame-o. All right, goodbye, Vincent. You're definitely not bothered by the cold. I mean, I didn't say it, but like, I definitely am bothered by the cold. So we're probably gonna end up, ooh, look at the geyser. Has anyone been to uh, Yellowstone National Park? Oh, just a wild jinx. Cool. Um, seeing uh, Old Faithful is really cool back when I was little. Um, I went in probably on like sixth grade for a, uh, my grandparents and my cousin and I, we just found the TM Hale, and we explored like the entire Midwest area, and it was really cool. Uh, wanted to be traveled with my entire family, um, as well as to see like Yellowstone, uh, Mount Rushmore, and a couple of the other uh, big nature sites of the United States. 
So the never melt ice. Um, did we really take any damage? Big Red took some. Let's see how good we're gonna do. Let's see if we can just let's see if we can just wing it. Danny, the air is clean, the view is great. There is nothing like the mountains. All ingredients are present for a great Pokemon match. By climbing Naval Mountain, you've proven to be a worthy opponent. Ice Sled Race? Yeah, I used to do that as a gym challenge, but that challenge is seasonal bound. In summer, the altitude of the snow line was too high. And since we want to give every trainer an equal chance to obtain the Sea Ruby Badge, we decided to do a Pokemon battle instead. I think we did enough chit chat. Let's take our places and let's battle. So in the anime, I am um, i don't remember this episode, but I assume they did a snow sled race. And I think I'm definitely gonna, gonna have to go back and like rewatch the whole series. So he starts off with a level 30 Geodude. And the fact that his first Pokemon's level 30 kind of concerns me. Electrode. Um... My Pokemon suck against Electro. I feel like Mr. Horn is probably the only thing that's not just going to like immediately die. So he goes for a Sonic Boom to do 20. My Horn attack does way more than I thought, but I kind of wish we were able to kill it. He goes for the Super Potion. Can we just... No, Explosion! That did nothing. Mr. Horn's just too thick. Uh, Machoke though, however, Big Red doesn't have a flying move yet, right? No. Um... Little Green? You got this Little Green? Leaf Seed? Dynamic Punch. I really wish you weren't confused there. But like... I also wish, really wish that would have hit. Strength does more to us than I really wanted it to. Um, we're gonna use a super potion, honestly. Ugh. We're gonna have to use another super potion because of their critical hit. I only have five of these, which kind of concerns me a little bit. I mean, yes, we are kind of just like cheesing a little bit, but meh, it is what it is. It's a new Quit confusing me. That's the issue I'm having right here. That is the issue I'm having is I'm just not able to like feel comfortable going in on any fight right here. The Machoke's gonna go down. Good news for us. We got a thousand XP. Scyther is gonna come out now. That should be easy peasy for Big Red, right? Level 32 Scyther. Okay. Ember? Oh god, he goes for the Swords Dance. We gotta kill this thing fast. Bad news is... Oh, we survived? Oh my gosh. Big Red just came in clutch by surviving right there. He's got a Nitto uh, to finish off with. All right, level 35 Nitto Queen. Okay. I feel like I just go for the full damage here. Yeah, we go for the full damage here. Surf's gonna kill us. Superpower's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, but your attack and defenses just fell. Can Lil Blue take over and finish off Nidoqueen right here? Her oh, come on. Come on. Alright. Superpower at least lowered the attack enough of Nidoqueen to not just have the Earthquake just absolutely decimate us. So, we have defeated Danny. And we are now worthy of the badge. The Sea Ruby Badge just slightly increases your Pokemon speed. Beside that, I want to give you this. TM13. It's Ice Beam. Ooh. That's a good TM. I know Lapras learns it naturally at some point. But I don't exactly remember at what point Lapras learns that. So now we can use the Cable Card to go all the way down. So we are going to go heal up and then we're going to head to where the next island is. So let's do this. And then let's see. Can't go up. 
So the only other ways we can go, we're about to go in the water, so let's make sure we have the right Pokemon up front. Uh, let's let little, little Yellow didn't get a single bit of action that during the gym battle. Let's make sure we fix that. Did I see what, Andy? Did I see Jesse? Or is there just a snake in your boot? There's a snake in my boot. Alright, so he's gonna send out Shelter next. And Little Yellow is just gonna absolutely decimate everyone around him. Alright, what's this little sign say? Let's tell me. So Naval Islands up ahead. Next we got the Grapefruit Islands. Okay. Let's go to the Grapefruit Islands real fast. Look at all these grapefruits. Look at all this fruit. The property of the Seven Isles. Okay. Um. There's just more more islands. Oh, there's a trainer. <gasps> there's a Snorlax. How much do you need to eat before you're fed up? That Snorlax was schmoving, baby. Schmoving. I'm Ruby, the owner of the Grapefruit Islands. Lately, somebody has been coming into our groves and stealing our grapefruits. But, it turned out it's a hungry Snorlax who is eating all our beloved grapefruits. Please stop it before it eats all of them. Um... Where did... Surf... Oh, I found Surfing Snorlax, okay. Snorlax is munching a lot on grapefruits. Stop that! No eating the grapefruits! Come back here! Get back over here! Get over here! Where'd you go? Snorlax! Snorlax! Ah! Where'd you go? I've gotta stop you! There you are. It's still munching lots of grapefruit trees. It's not looking pleased to bother it. It attacked in a grumpy rage. Alright, little yellow. I have the utmost faith in you. Ooh. Mm, having slightly less faith in you. Slightly less faith in you. We're gonna trust Mr. Horn here since we're yawned. We don't want to be put to sleep. Get a little intimidate action. Alright, you're just gonna keep yawning. Alright, we trust a little green instead. And little green's at least gonna throw a leech seed on there. Perfect. We're not. We didn't get yawned that time, so we could actually do something. Let's razor leaf. I don't really want to poison powder it. In case it has like guts or anything like that. Um or any of those other things. So Snorlax schmoving away. Ruby says, thank you. That Snorlax was on its way to eat all the island's grapefruits. If it weren't for all of your help, we wouldn't have a single grapefruit left. Please accept this as a small thank you gift. We got the silk scarf. So it boosts normal type moves. Is that it? Is it the whole grapefruit island series? Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just keep going. It was a very short little, up, very short little thing right there. Um, cool route I. Ooh, sign, sign. Tell me where to go. Moro Island. Okay. But first, trainer. Have you visited the Moro Museum on Moro Island? I have not, but I would love to. I like museums. We have a really good museum back where I'm from. Good old history museum. Really fancy art stuff. It's really cool. So we're going to turn this crabby into some Alaskan King Crab. As we have little Miss Sashimi Goldine come out next. Toast it nice even on both sides for a nice little crisp. Make sure it's cooked, safe to eat, and gone. All right, so we just hit Moro Island. I don't know anything about Moro Island, but we would like to be healed. And I think this is a great place to wrap up this episode. Uh, short, sweet, to the point. Um, we'll explore the island for a second and we'll figure out uh, where we are going to go next. Um, but as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, follow, all that good jazz, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.